My name is Heather Blakeman and I am an endurance runner. I enjoy running any distance from the half marathon to the ultra marathon distances for fun. In addition to doing wellness coaching, I enjoy my time outdoors, running various trails and exploring anywhere my feet will take me. What brought me here today? Well, I have only been into wellness for about five years. Prior to being into wellness, I was a public school teacher for several years. That was my career, and it was the only profession I had ever known and felt capable of succeeding in. However, in my time as a teacher, life was extremely unhealthy. The experiences brought on depression and anxiety that is the complete opposite of what a teacher should go through. The lifestyle had me stressed with massive amounts of self-doubt, personal struggle, battle with health, and extremely overweight. Desperately needing to get healthy, I found myself weighing about 210 pounds at 5 foot 6 inches tall. That lifestyle alone led me to want and need a change. How did I get into running? So living that lifestyle as a teacher, the only positive aspect of my wellness I had going for me was that I was a runner. Running had become my escape from my career. I not only ran to escape my career, I ran to escape anxiety. I was running to escape life entirely. The downfall of running was that it actually hurt. My hips, back, neck, all pounding, throbbing, radiating, shooting pain throughout my body. So speaking of just having all this pain throughout my body, one thing that I actually had to do when I first started running, even though when I say I had started running, it was more like run, walk, jog, and about the 5K distance, I literally handmade, like hand sewed ice bags, like ice packs, the size that fit a five pound bag of ice. I made them long and they were pink and they were cute and they had bows on them. I literally sewed ice packs bags for the ice packs and left them in my freezer so that I could ice my body daily. Daily I was icing my knees, my ankles, my feet, my legs because the pain was horrific. I, I was in pain all the time and this chronic pain was just like taking over my day that I was literally icing my entire body just to be able to exercise and run. And that was really like the first sign that this is not okay and you should not be feeling this crazy amount of pain just to be able to run and exercise. It was while running my first half marathon that I decided it was time. It was time for me to get healthy, focus on me, my body, my health. If I wanted longevity in my life and in my running, I had to make a change. I had to get the weight off. During that first half marathon is when I called my husband at mile 10 and asked him to come get me. And he kindly insisted he would meet me at the finish line. A day later, I was absolutely sure that I was never running again. Running was unhealthy for the human body. I was convinced that the female body and our hips and our joints are not made for running. I had all the excuses. Luckily, excuses are short-lived and passion lasts forever. Over the next couple of weeks, my passion for running started coming back. After getting back into running after that first half marathon, I knew something had to change. In efforts to get the weight off, I started cross training, running more, strength training, stretching, eating for a healthier lifestyle. I started doing all the things that runners and athletes should do. I lost the weight and I lost it fast. When I lost the pounds so quickly, I began to question myself and my ability to maintain that insane weight loss. However, I lacked that personal belief that I deserved to be healthy. 
Although I still kept up on the workouts, the eating, and the lifestyle. I continued to work on distance running, returning to that same exact half marathon a year later, finishing it 40 minutes faster than the previous year. Running had become an addiction. Did I always want to run distance? I mean, I didn't wake up thinking I wanted to be a distance runner or an endurance athlete. However, I did really start to enjoy the half marathon distance. I started running the half marathon distance almost weekly. Every Saturday morning, I just ran one hour out and one hour back. And then it hit me that it was physically and mentally possible to run a full marathon. I chose to run my first full marathon in my home state, Michigan. I swore that first marathon was a one and done until I decided I wanted to complete a full marathon in my home state and my current favorite state, Colorado. Just a year later, I ran the Colorado Marathon. Again, I loved everything about the marathon distance, the training days, the miles, the times running with friends, the race environment, the crowds. I loved it all. How did I get into running trails and ultras? Definitely by accident. I actually ran my first ultra marathon just three weeks after the Colorado Marathon. I figured if I can go the marathon distance, what's another five miles? Why not do it? So I did. And from there, I fell in love with trail running, the trail running community, and time out in the mountains. Have I done longer distances? And do I enjoy the ultras? Actually, yeah. I really do enjoy running the ultra distance. I do really like the idea of just being outside, away from technology, nothing to do, nothing to think about, except running. I love a good day from sun up until sundown, just strolling the trails. Primarily, I like running the trails of the Telluride area and the San Juan Mountains. I have my favorite trails here. There are a lot of hidden gems here that you can only experience by foot. But I have also run the rim to rim of the Grand Canyon, the Silverton Ultras, and even the Grand Traverse. What is my longest distance? Most recently, I was able to do only one in-person race of 2020, and that was my 50 miler. With 2020 being a year of unknown, there was one thing I knew. I knew I wanted a big goal to focus on for that year and for the summer of 2020. I needed a goal to work towards and to work up to. I chose to work up to the 50 mile distance and choose a race that I knew was doable and that was able to proceed and happen. So just six weeks ago, I did run my first 50 mile trail run and it was fantastic.